Welcome to episode 23 of Busted Junk Studio. This is part 14 of the Cardboard Teleprompter Project. If you missed the other 13 parts, then you probably have no idea how we got here. So go back to episode 9 and get caught up. It's been a fun build. As I promised in the last episode, we are ready for the final two-tone black finish. To start things off, we are going to do the black wrinkle finish first. This VHT Wrinkle Plus paint has a particular method for application. I'm going to modify this for our special purposes. You should always follow the directions closely for best outcome. But in this case, we're going to deviate a bit. It's all good. So, let's go over to the spray booth and get things going. set up a bit. You know, it's got to be a, a fairly thick coat. So I'm just spraying top like that and we'll let her sit. Then I've already pulled off the masking here and uh, what I do is I spray it, get it wet, let it sit for maybe five or ten minutes. And then I hit it with a hair dryer. And all of a sudden the wrinkle will come out. You can see the, the finish is on here. Let's uh, try this again with the next side. Make sure this is mixed real well. It likes to, to settle out. There we go. Give it a test shot. And that should be it. Now we let her sit for five minutes. Let's take our hair dryer. That's about it. Now you got to let it dry for a long time. Let me uh, let me take off this, uh, this masking here. There we go. about does it for the black wrinkle. Well, a couple days have passed and uh, let's take a look at what we got. Oops, sorry. These. What we want to do is uh, get, the, get the masking off, get it ready for the matte flat black, the Vanta black. Well, the simple black. Not perfect, but eh, good enough for me. <laughs> anyway. Now, this bottom here, eh, it didn't come out the greatest. You know, there's a lot of fish eyes in it. Like there was, there was oil or something on my work surface. I, I, I don't know. But I'm not going to get too shook up about it. It's got a good coat on it. And we'll keep it like that. Anyway, it's the bottom. The sides. 
and all that stuff, those are all in perfect shape. So we got that and that. Oh, that's already looking snappier, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, we got this piece here, and uh, it's the camera mount. And there's our pieces. And so it begins. Close the door. Is it dark in here, huh? Yeah. Let's see what we got going here. Well, we turn on, turn that on. We give ourselves some under table lights. Bring up some overhead light. There we go. So. What we want to do is start up some sound. There we go. Start recording. Let's see, are we recording? Yeah, we're recording. Let's kill this background noise. And let's come up here and Start up camera B. Yeah. Try it again. Oh, Jesus. Just a minute here. Can't have that happening. There we go. Camera bees fighting me a little bit here. There we go. Oh, come on. There. Camera B. Yeah. What's the matter here? There. Okay, we shot camera B. Camera B on? Camera B running. Oh. Okay, now for camera C. Camera C's running. And this guy, you, are camera D. Now, I'll flip you up and down like that. Now we gotta mess with it. Now we gotta keep it this way. There we go. Now we mount you to here. And you are now On the table. Now, to get started, let's lay out a little bit of paper.
like that. And let's get our first piece we're going to work with. And that's going to be... Uh, this part. Now we're going to need some tools. So... I need to get ourselves a screwdriver. There we go. And a nice tip in it. Yeah. into the compressor. Let's see how it likes it. Let's take a couple seconds. Okay, yeah, we're threading it on. And yeah, we're hooked up. Okay, let's see if it works. this out we're gonna need uh, some masking tape there we're gonna need some simple black there we're gonna need some water I'll keep that off camera and we're gonna need a mixing jar and something to mix with the next thing to do, I imagine, is to uh, mix up some paint. Let's get this simple black here. Uh -huh. See how it is, and let's put a little bit into this thing. I, I, I'm not measuring real accurately. I think that'll be enough for now. I can always make more. There's black, after all. So... We take some water and we put a little bit in there. And let's start the mixing process. Probably could use some some paper towels. What we need to do is mask off an area. Power up the compressor uh, yeah there we go uh, now let's decant a little bit of black uh, we had a little bleed kind of get started, I guess.
That's it. We got a flat black inside. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll do another coat, but that one's done. Part number two. Now, what we want to do is, uh, let's get our compressor going. If you can't some more paint, check it out. Working good. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. This one here is about done. I got to touch this up, this hair up. I'll do that with a brush later on. But, uh, okay, on to the next piece. Uh, here's a simple one. <sighs> that one's done. Here we go. Here's our last part. Here's our last part. So let's uh, get going. Let's first get some... Get some paint in the airbrush. Here we go. <sighs> Camp it up. Okay. Start with the compressor. Yeah, all right, well, let me just uh, get started. Not completely dry, but good enough. Let's see. Give it a little hot air. This is probably the, the surface that I want to keep the, the smoothest. Uh, I don't know how we're going to do here, but we'll give it a go. We're going to keep the, we're going to keep the air a little bit away from it. Try and get it to spread evenly across it instead of blotch up, you know. I'm gonna touch that up with a brush later. This thing's clogged. I gotta take it apart, clean it, you know. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta 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 tend to the airbrush. But I think we're there, pretty much. That looks good. A little touch up, keep my fingers off of it so I don't get grease marks on it, but you know. That's for the recess of the bottom. 